hello friends in this video we are going to discuss the circuit and operation table of three phase inverter 180 degree conduction mode okay so for the 180 degree conduction mode here we are having a circuit diagram okay this circuit diagram is a common for 180 degree as well as 120 degree conduction mode okay so if you check it consists of six switches s1 s3 s5 it forms the odd numbered switches that is the upper group s4 s6 s2 it forms the lower group okay so at a time three switches for the 180 degree conduction mode at a time three switches will be in the on state okay also why it is known as a 180 degree conduction mode because each switch conducts for 180 degree each switch conducts for 180 degree next input is the dc voltage it is a vdc right input voltage is a vdc okay it is a vdc input voltage we are having okay next input is a dc for the three phase inverter the output is a three phase balanced ac output right three phase balanced ac okay what do you mean by the three phase balanced ac the three phase balanced ac is nothing but the phase difference between the three line voltages as well as three phase voltages okay it should be 120 degree right the peak value of all the line voltages should be same the peak value of all the phase voltages should be same as the peak values are same definitely the rms values also same okay next the frequency of all the line voltages and phase voltages it should be same okay so these are the requirements basically there are three requirements one is the phase displacement 120 degree next frequency next one is the rms and the peak value okay so these are the three requirements okay next ideally speaking the inverter should give the sinusoidal output okay but whether it is giving the sinusoidal or not that we are going to discuss in the next video okay next as i said the input is the dc voltage and it consists of the six switches okay be careful the numbering of the switches it should be like this only right s1 s3 s5 and s4 s6 s2 okay then and only then this operation table will be valid if you change the switch numbers this operation table will change is this clear okay next here the three phase output yes it is taken from yes phase a is from this terminal phase b from this terminal and phase c from this terminal okay next here the load it may be connected in star or it may be connected in delta but here we have considered it as a star connected okay because in the star the line and phase voltages both will be different okay whereas in delta line and phase voltages will be same okay so it is better to draw the line as well as phase voltage waveform okay then only we can analyze it what is the rms value what will the harmonic contents how will how will the Fourier series analysis for line and the phase voltage that we will be discussing okay next so this is about the circuit diagram and the operation table this operation table is for 180 degree conduction mode okay so it consists of six intervals interval one to interval six right next each interval is of 60 degree each interval is of 60 degree so as i said here we are having the six intervals each interval is of 60 degree so 60 into 6 that is a 360 degree 360 degree means what one complete cycle right one complete cycle of the ac alternating supply or the alternating waveform okay so here when we start with the interval one and if we complete at the interval six right if we end up at the interval six then after that again it will be moving towards the interval one are you getting the point okay so it goes on repeating it goes on repeating right next during first interval during first interval switch number five switch number six and switch number one these three switches will be turned on okay switch number five six one these three switches will be turned on during the first interval right during the second interval switch number five will be turned off and switch number two we need to turn on okay so here during the second interval newly added switch is the s2 right and the outgoing switch is the s5 okay so s6 s1 s2 will be in the conduction mode next at the end of second interval switch number s6 will get uh, it will turn off right and s3 will turn on okay so switches will be conducting like s1 s s2 s3 during fourth interval s2 s3 s4 will be in the conduction mode 
During the fifth interval, S3, S4, S5 will be in the conduction mode. And during the sixth interval, S4, S5, S6 will be in the conduction mode. Okay. So if you check, as I said, each switch conducts for 180 degree. Okay. And as I said, each interval is of 60 degree, right? So therefore, each switch should conduct for three intervals. Then and only then we can say that switch is conducting for 180 degree. So if you check here at the end of sixth interval or in the sixth interval, whether the S1 is present, no, right? So S1 is the newly added switch in the interval one. Okay, so interval one S1 conducts for 60 degree during the second interval also S1 present, right? So here also S1 is conducting mode. Okay, during the third interval also S1 will be in the conduction mode. During the fourth interval S1 is not present, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay, so S1 is in, in the conduction mode only for the first three intervals, right? So 3 into 60 that is a 180 degree, right? Similarly, if you check S2, S2 will be in the conduction mode from second third and the fourth interval okay so that's why three intervals so again it will be conducting for the 180 degree similarly for the s3 s4 s5 s6 okay so each switch conducts for 180 degree okay so that's why it is known as the 180 degree conduction mode right so this is about the circuit diagram and operation table of three phase inverter 180 degree conduction mode in the next video we are going to discuss the circuit operation circuit operation during first three intervals that is interval 1 interval 2 and interval 3 and we are going to draw the waveform for the phase voltage and the line voltage okay thank you